Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. It's been a while. I have not filmed a drive with me in months, but they always seem to do well for some reason and I like watching them. So that's, I felt like filming this. Um, <laughs> I'm basically just going to start driving and um, we're going to talk because a lot has happened in um, these few months. So anyway, Basically, right, what I'm doing right now is I woke up really late today. I woke up at about like 11, 12, and I was like, you know what, this week I've not been productive. I haven't really been going to uni and like any of the lectures and stuff. So I'm like, okay, let me just go to uni. Let me bring some stuff. Let me like get some work done. And like, I don't know, like, I thought like, let me get some work done. So like, you know, I can like, catch up because I'm like probably so far behind right now um yeah so I drive to uni right and the thing is why I don't like working in uni is because there's never anywhere to work right I'm doing architecture right so the whole studio is just packed of everyone's shit and like everyone's work everyone's just sitting around chatting and like all their work's everywhere so I, there's not even a table for me to work at um, so I was just like, and the noise and everything is just too much. <laughs> and there's like a, something going on. They're like doing a little task right now, which I don't even know what a task is because I haven't even been. So I don't even know what they're doing. So, but like, yeah, they're doing something right now and I'm trying to avoid the tutors because I know they're just going to be like, oh, like, what are you doing? And I'm just like, um, nothing. <laughs> so yeah, so I drove to uni. Walked around, tried to find somewhere to work. There's nowhere to work. I drove 30 plus minutes. I paid for parking. And I literally just walked in there to walk straight back out. Like, it's, no, <laughs> that's not okay. So yeah, that's annoying, but we move on. We move on. So I'm probably just gonna go home and I guess do work there. But then I know I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna lay down and I'm gonna watch YouTube or something and then I'm not gonna do anything. Like, I know that's what I'm gonna do. So anyway, guys, how have you been? <laughs> um, oh my God, honestly. Also, um, the last drive of me I did, and did I have this car? No, the last drive of me I did, it was in the Mini. Uh, but I did film a double karaoke in this car, like the, a few days after I got it. Right, yeah. So, yeah, you haven't even really seen the car. Like, this is a new car. It's a, I, I did say, I remember saying that I was gonna do like a car tour and like talk about it, but then I was just like, I filmed it and it just, it, it just looked crap. And just like, I just, I didn't want to be that person that's like, oh, look at my car. <laughs> If it was a Lamborghini, then maybe, but it's not, so. Uh, yeah. I got a haircut the other day as well. A little, little fade there. Yeah. Also, this is on my phone. This is, okay, wait, this is my old phone. This is a 7 Plus. And you're on my 11 right now. And the camera? Like, yes, this looks good. Like, wow, I should film on this a bit more. Obviously, this is like a last minute decision, so I don't even have my camera, but this is like better than my camera. Does this look better than my camera? I don't know. Anyway, so yeah, I'm driving home. It's probably gonna take me 30 plus minutes. I feel like, I don't know if there's like, I should do something on the way. Oh, I'm going to go through this park, this really nice park, but I won't, okay. Um, What should I talk about? Um, so let me tell you a bit about uni, right? Because a lot of people that like watch these videos, they're like, you're, you're like about 16, 17 kind of thing. Like you're, you're like learning to drive or like just started driving or whatever. That's, I, I was like watching those videos at that age. I think a lot of the audience was about that age. So I want to talk about uni because Listen, <laughs> I don't want to like be that person to like put people off uni and stuff like that. But like uni is, mm, I went
went to uni thinking that it's going to be a bit like more slower paced than A levels because A levels is very like you you know you haven't got you've only you've got a week to do like some like I don't know like all like the homework and stuff like you, you don't have, everything's very quick you don't really have much time you have a lot to get through and I I had the expectation that with uni it's a lot more slower paced you have bigger projects but longer deadlines and like you know you, you you have time to do everything which i guess you do with everything you do you, you have time if you make the time for it you can do it but like <laughs> i don't know i'm so struggling like i cannot i cannot get it together like i just can't um sorry the phone is shaking a lot but i can just not get it i just can't keep up I can't keep up. Like it's so hard, and it's just so much work, and I'm just dying. <laughs> just dying, to be honest. Like I don't know. So if you're if you're like, I didn't actually want to go to uni. I feel like I have to go to uni if I want to get somewhat any job, or like, you know, I always have this to fall back on, like a degree kind of thing. But like, you know, I'm not doing any basic degree, I'm doing architecture, it's like, it's like one of the five professions, like you have doctor, architect, uh, engineer, uh, you know like those five jobs, teacher? No. It's like doctor, architect, engineer, dentistry, and something else. I don't know, but it's like one of the five things. It's like a seven, it's a seven year degree. So it's not like, you know, I could just get a three year degree in psychology and like get a job somewhere. Like, do you know what I mean? <laughs> but I didn't do that because I'm a fucking idiot. So actually no, I'm not an idiot. Cause I, okay. My other opinion is a lot of degrees are a waste of time and money. Like if you're going to get a degree, get a degree in something that's worth getting a degree and like don't get a degree in something and then you're like once you get the degree you're like oh what do I do now like you need to get you need something that's like gives you options like the thing with an architecture degree is there's so much involved in it and employers know how sort of difficult and like they know like oh if you've got architecture that's serious like that's you can do some shit kind of thing. You're very creative and stuff like that. If you have a degree in fucking physical education, that doesn't say much about you apart from you like football. <laughs> like it doesn't. So get a degree in something good. That's my opinion. But obviously do something you like doing. Don't do something you don't want to do. Like me. I'm joking. I don't, I, yeah. Mm. I do want to do it, but I don't at the same time. I would rather do this for a living because this is much more fun and I'm lazy so <laughs> but like that's not really happening so I just have to sort of you know find something else to do so yeah architecture it's like the next best thing so if I was to get any like formal job it'd be architecture but yeah and uni oh let me tell you it's expensive besides the tuition fees and the like living and stuff like that obviously most people get a student loan for that i did so that's you know that's sorted but there's so much more involved in that like especially in what i'm doing right especially anything artsy you need you're gonna want you're gonna have to be paying a lot of money right so let me tell you right so Speeding. Let me tell you. So, you okay? So for me, travel. I commute to uni. I don't live in like halls or anything. I drive there, right? So obviously I'm paying for my car, but a lot of people won't be paying for cars. So if you live in London, but I'm commuting, so I pay for parking every day. It's like an 80p an hour, right? So let's say on a Monday I do a 11 to 6. So that's seven hours of parking. So that's like six pound something. You can figure that out. So on a day, right? Like on a daily basis, like pay to park. 
I have to pay for all my materials, all the paper that I use, all the pencils, the, a drawing board which costs upwards of a hundred pounds, um, all the drawing equipment, and there's like a T-square, set square, um, like there's so much involved with architecture and just arts in general, like if I want to use like aluminium or car to make a model, I have to pay for that. And to submit my portfolio, I have to pay for like everything that I have to pay for the paper that, for the portfolio. I have to pay for like the folders that the portfolio go in. The, the folders alone were like twenty five pounds each. Like, even like a sleeve to put an A one sheet in costs like three pounds. Like, it doesn't sound a lot, but like to sum for my winter submission, I spent about sixty plus pounds just to submit my work. Like, what am I paying nine grand for? For tuition, like, what am I paying for? Like, what? What? What am I paying for? <laughs> like, oh my God. Anyway, yeah, so it's a, it's a lot of money. And like, trips and stuff. Obviously, you don't have to go on the trips, but I just went to Portugal like a week or two ago. That cost me like 400 pounds. But I know the trips get much more expensive. I think some of the trips are like over a thousand pound. Like, how are a student supposed to have this money? Like how? I'm in so much debt as it is and the uni is just making it worse. <laughs> like I'm struggling. Um, so I need a little side hustle. So if anyone's got a little side hustle idea, let me know because like, that's legal, obviously. I'm not trying to get in any, I'm not trying to get arrested or anything. But like, yeah, I need something because none of this is cheap. Like, oh, sometimes I just wonder, like, why I'm doing it and if it's even worth it. And these two people are just standing there doing nothing. Which really good. So, yeah, I don't know about that. Um, yeah. But anyway, oh, there's like a Krispy Kreme thing, but I can't eat that. Oh, I'll tell you what I've been doing. This week I've been doing... Um, Intermediate fasting, right? If you don't know what that is, it's basically where basically I'm eating like one meal a day and normally around like two, three o'clock, and that's literally like why I eat in the day. But the thing with intermediate fasting is I can eat what I want, but like not gain weight. So, for example, for my one meal a day, I can have McDonald's or like Pizza Hut, for example, but like. Oh, for pizza, I wouldn't get like a fat pizza, obviously. But like, actually, I haven't even had pizza on this. That's a bit much. But like, or I can have like pasta with like chicken, or like, I can have something that's like not healthy, and that be my one meal for the day. So I'm still eating like what I want, but I'm not getting fat, <laughs> or I'm not gaining weight. So yeah, so that's what I've been doing, and it's been quite hard. And obviously today I had Burger King. Let me tell you about Burger King. Burger King is a scam. It's a scam, right? Let me tell you why. Burger King is so overpriced. It is so overpriced. It costs like double of McDonald's. It's ridiculous. Like this meal, I got like a bacon burger um, cheese meal. It cost me over eight pounds. Like eight pounds 20 or something. For what? It tastes like shit. It's actually disgusting. It tastes full of crap. It's, I barely could eat it. I got like halfway and I was like, this is nasty. Like I'm never buying Burger King again. I'm never buying Burger King again. The only thing I don't mind is their fries and their chicken fries. But the burgers, disgusting. Absolutely. Oh my God. Like no so gross like i have to have mcdonald's now or i like yeah mcdonald's or kfc like kfc is it right now i'm loving kfc burger king nasty never eating it again so i thought i'd tell you that it's so overpriced and it tastes like shit i don't know if this is like anyone else but i used to love burger king i used to like get burger king all the time even though it was expensive because i actually liked it and i thought oh like sometimes this does taste better it doesn't taste like shit like McDonald's tastes like shit. McDonald's will make you feel sick. Burger King doesn't make you feel sick. No. The how times have changed. Burger King is so nasty. Ever since I did that Burger King video where I tried the King box or something, I filmed that on my channel, right? And I got a chicken fries. 
No. No, another time. I tried the king box, right? Ever since then, and that weird sauce that was in the burger, ever since then, I have not liked KFC Burger King. It's just, oh, it's so, so gross. Like, what? It's disgusting. I can't believe I ever, like, oh, ugh. Like, I don't even know why I bought it again. I feel so stupid. I fell for the trap again. I went and got it again. I'm so annoyed with myself, but it is what it is. So yeah guys, that was, I feel like I've been ranting this whole video and I'm not, I'm trying to, I want to keep it positive, but like, things have just been getting on my nerves. <laughs> People and things have just been getting on my nerves. I feel like I'm just like going, losing my mind sometimes, but anyway. Um, I literally feel sick now. I feel sick. I need a drink as well. Uh. Also, another thing <laughs> It's like a completely different subject now But like When you like start driving, right It's like the most fun thing ever Like The freedom and everything is like so great And I like literally I, If there's like a time where like I can't drive It really like bugs me And it like gets my nerves And it's like It's horrible, right And you like lose your freedom kind of thing but like, sometimes I just hate driving. Like, you just, I just like, sometimes I'm like in the mood, I'm like, oh yeah, I wanna go on a road trip. Like, I wanna just go drive somewhere. Like, I like to drive. But then sometimes I'm like, oh, I could not be bothered to be on the road right now. Like, I just want someone to drive me because I do not wanna drive right now. I just can't stand it. And like, yeah, I just try and find every excuse not to drive somewhere. <laughs> but like, yeah, I don't know. It's weird. So that's an interesting thing. Like when you start driving, it's like so fun. And then after it's just so shit. <laughs> and you're like, oh, I'm paying all this money for what? <laughs> but um, yeah. It's just not time to die. Anyway guys, so I'm, no, I'm not home. I'm nowhere near home, but while well, I've been filming for 20 minutes, I'm not even close to home, so. Um, I'm gonna go, but I felt like talking for a bit. Thank you for satisfying that. But um, yeah, guys, I'm also, I know I don't really post consistently on here, but I will be posting more. Um, I definitely will be posting in March because something exciting is happening in March. I won't say anything more, but yeah, until about March. But yeah, uh, until next month when something exciting quite happens, um, yeah, I'm not really going to be posting consistently. Maybe I'll, like, film some videos um, and just have them, like, stored until I'm, like, have time to edit them and stuff. But, uh, yeah, so. Um, okay, Skoda. Take your time. Thank you. Alright guys, so I'm going to go. Um, thank you so much for watching if you got to the end. Sorry if I was ranting too much. If you found it entertaining, then I'm happy. But yeah. <laughs> I'll see you later guys. Peace out. And um, stay positive. <laughs>